and we do have a cheat code. There is a cheat code, and if you watch my videos, you know exactly what the cheat code is. We're waiting for a specific Hello everyone, today our guest is popular trader and analyst, Steve Courtney, who in this video reveals that Bitcoin is signaling a rare movement, which previously led to a 477% rise in its price. So buckle up and get ready for an exciting journey through the world of crypto. Subscribe, like, and share our channel to embark on this adventure with us. Traditional financial firms finally believe that digital assets are here to stay. Or so one might conclude from the slew of announcements last week, from some of the world's premier financial players. Among them is BlackRock, the world's largest asset manager with $9 trillion in assets under management IUM, filed for permission to build a spot market Bitcoin-based exchange-traded fund, EDF, something the United States Securities and Exchange Commission has resolutely resisted. Others include Fidelity Investments, Charles Schwab and Citadel launching EDX, a new cryptocurrency exchange. In Germany, Deutsche Bank, boasting $1.4 trillion in balance sheet assets, applied for a license to custody crypto. There were others too. Collectively, these developments boosted crypto trading markets. Bitcoin BTC $29,978, gained 20% in the week, surpassing the $30,000 mark for the first time since April. If allowed, a BlackRock Bitcoin ETF listing on the NASDAQ stock exchange would arguably make Bitcoin more accessible to a larger investing public. Some even anticipated a stampede to Bitcoin due to the BlackRock filing, as others followed with their own, including Invesco and Wisdom Tree. Fidelity Investments filed for a spot Bitcoin ETF on June 29. Bitcoin just did something really unique. The last time it did this was a few years ago, and then it rallied 470%. The time before that that it did this thing was a few years before that and it rallied 250%. So is Bitcoin about to have another explosive rally? What we've got is price action above with a critical white level that we need to discuss in detail. And then down below we had the NVT HV custom indicator, which again, this is a custom indicator. You won't be able to get it, but everybody who's in the FFA they will get it for free. Now, what we see is when each year, about once per year, Bitcoin has a major sign that it's about to have the largest move of that year. That major sign is the volatility, the historical volatility drops to an all-time low, right? That's when we drop below this white level. When we come out of that, when we start to get some volatility back into the market, if we come out in red, Bitcoin crashes. It did so right here, 50%. Another time it came out in red was here, and we crashed by 63%. These are huge crashes. These are the largest moves of the year. Now, sometimes we come out in green, like we did here, where we came above this 40 level in the historical volatility. When we come out in green, Bitcoin explodes in price. It went up 250%. It's very rare that we come out in green. In fact, over the last handful of years, it's only happened two other times. This is the third. We just did it, and we're going to discuss that in a moment. But if you fast forward to 2020, we went below here, dipped below our historical volatility. The market was very boring. It was at a very, very low volatility. And when we came out of that volatility, we were in green, and we rallied 470%. Now, what you need to know is that this indicator gives us a lot of huge signals, a lot of huge signals. And this more recent one is huge because it's only happened a two other times in the past three years. So are we going to follow a similar pattern? Because the last two times was a 250% rally and a 470% rally. Is it going to be as monumental as those two? Let's break it down. What we see happening in price action is we have this level right here, which is about just under 29K. And that's structurally incredibly important. Market structure is substantial. And we started forming this market structure way back in Christmas time of 2020. And it's been our critical market structure ever since then. Bitcoin rallied above this market structure. It was our resistance. We rallied above it. 
We rallied all the way up to here. We came crashing back down and we confirmed it as our market structure. You see these large wicks here that tells you that there was a lot of buying power protecting this level that was our resistance and proving that it's now our support. And then we went to the proverbial moon. We had our first market cycle top. This was our market cycle top. Some people are like, wait, Steve, we went higher here. Isn't that our market cycle top? No, this is technically our market cycle top. This was our double top, and we had incredibly strong bearish divergence when we formed these two tops, telling us that we were in big trouble. Before we formed our second double top, we had our first market cycle top, and we crashed down. Where do we crash down to? Our market structure, right? And you can see, again, these large wicks, which smart money was buying up this level. Why? Because we protected this level months earlier and we knew we were going to protect it again once you saw those large wicks it told you that reversal was in play meaning that there was so much buying power it pushed bitcoin's price up we protected this level that was our resistance that became our support and was proven to be our support still with huge buying pressure it pushed price up and we went up in a monumental way forming our double top the problem is we had incredibly strong bearish divergence at the time, and we all know what happens when you have a double top with bearish divergence. You come crashing down. Where did we crash down to? Look left. Men lie, women lie, the charts don't lie. We came crashing right down to our support, but this time we did not have large wicks buying it up, right? We had one large wick trying to buy it up there wasn't enough muscle there and it came collapsing down when we finally had these bodies closing really really close to what used to be our support for all of these months there was huge warning signs it really figured out hey this level we're not protecting it they got out of their trades instead of buying at this level they sold at this level and they pushed it down further okay we came crashing down below this level forming our first market cycle bottom our second market cycle bottom at the same time incredibly strong bullish divergence which we covered pound for pound move for move here on this channel and when that happened we said hey watch out for this level this 29k why that's our market structure not for a day two not a, not a week or two for all of these months since christmas time of 2020 this has been our market structure. We're gonna go play with that market structure level. And that's what we did. We came rallied up to this market structure level and we haven't yet to this day recovered that level. The last time we were above this level was literally May, 2022. And that's right before we crashed below it. But we haven't recovered this level, right? You can say, hey, Steve, how about these candles right here? Didn't this recover? No, these bodies did not close as support. We need the body of the candle to close above this level to confirm as support. Then we need another confirmation candle confirming it as well. This is our breakthrough candle, right? Which happened June 19th. We're waiting for our confirmation candle. We have not closed this confirmation candle. We're waiting for it, right? It needs to close above this you know, 29-ish K with the body. And that will be monumental because that's a huge structural change with the price of Bitcoin. Now, there are a couple things that can help Bitcoin confirm as 29 as support. You saw in yesterday's video, we talked about the stochastic RSI cross, which happens on schedule every six months for the last several years. Every six months, we have this cross, it brings a lot of momentum into the market, and generally with momentum, you see large rallies. At the same time, Bitcoin has just come green through this level, telling you that we were at historically low levels of volatility. We just had a shock of momentum come into the market, positive momentum, albeit, and we have positive momentum at the same time as a stochastic RSI cross. This is green. It's only happened two other times, 250% rally, 470% rally. Now, do I think another 250%, 470% rally is coming right now? I don't. But what I do think is that there is 
some good movement going to come in Bitcoin, but we are in phase one of the bull. We are in the disbelief phase where the market moves sideways, right? We said 72 days ago, watch that $31,000 level. We're probably not going to get above it for about 100 days. We're 72 days in to that bold call, and here we are right where we left off. It's a boring market. We're moving sideways. This is phase one of the bull, but we do have some new momentum coming in. Our stochastic RSI cross is fresh off the press. And this cross above here in the volatility in green, fresh off the press. And again, if you have this indicator in the FFA, here are the settings that I have with the colors. That way you can fix it up just like this. It used to be white instead of green. I changed it to just be more logical. Green is good, red is bad, everybody knows that. So Bitcoin needs to recover this level. We've got some good momentum on our side. What do we think is gonna happen next? Well, it's simple. That $31,000 level is critical. That's that level that needs to cross in order to really meet the next stage of the market. And we do have a cheat code. There is a cheat code, and if you watch my videos, you know exactly what the cheat code is. We're waiting for a specific cross that happens like clockwork in every single market that tells us when we're finished with this phase. We haven't gotten that cross yet. Sharing is caring, and we encourage you to spread the word about crypto highlights. Tell your friends, family, and fellow crypto enthusiasts about our channel. Together, we can create a thriving community of individuals passionate about cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology. Thank you.